All right, thanks for watching. And today we'll do something really cool. We're going to use linear algebra to solve a system of differential equations. Whoa! So in fact, there is a very deep connection between linear algebra and differential equations, which I'll exhibit here. And so, for, for instance, let's solve the following system. So, x1 prime of t is 7 x1 of t plus 2 x2 of t and x2 prime of t is minus 4 x1 of t plus, if you want, 1 x2 of t. So this is really, really cool. Imagine you have two particles or two Pokemons or two people. They are tug at war. They're sort of battling against each other. And so sort of their motion is described by the system of differential equations. And it turns out for this one, we can actually solve it. So how cool is that? And as I said, um, you know, we want to use some linear algebra. So let's rewrite this in terms of linear algebra. So first of all, if x, so boldface x of t, is x1 of t and x2 of t, then in fact we can rewrite this system as x prime of t equals to 7, 2, minus 4, 1, x of t. Why? Because let's just write this down. What is x prime of t? It's just a vector of derivatives, x prime of t and x2 prime of t. And the question is, is this equal to 7, 2, minus 4, 1, x1 of t, x2 of t? And in fact, it is true simply if you just multiply this matrix by this vector because you get 7x1 plus 2x2 which we have here and minus 4x1 plus x2 which we have here as well in other words any such kind of differential equations you can write this in matrix form and in fact if you let this be a then we get x prime of t equals to ax all right so far, we haven't solved it at all. I just wasted your time a little bit. But now, let's actually not solve it right now. <laughs> and um, before we do that, let's do a simpler example. And we'll come back to this one. How about we solve this example? Solve. I guess this system, let's write it with y. So y1 prime of t equals to 3y1 of t, and y2 prime of t, it's 5y2 of t. Well, you might say, hey, why are you wasting my time? Yes, in fact, this system is so easy to solve, even a calculus one student can do it. And again, not in a derogatory matter, it's just you don't need much knowledge of a differential equations to solve this because those two things are decoupled. And remember, to solve y prime equals to ky, you just get y of t, it's ce to the kt. So let's check it out. Okay. And so in this case, what we get is y1 of t, it's maybe a constant, so a e to the 3t. Actually, no, let's use c1, because we use a for the other matrix. So c1 e to the 3t and y2 of t is c2 e to the 5t. OK, so this is all in good. And you may say, why did I waste your time with that? Because I'm making a point. This system, you can actually write this in terms of the previous notation because this becomes 3y1 of t plus 0y2 of t and 
zero y1 of k plus five y2 of t. So if you take the same notation as before, if y of t is just y1 of t and y2 of t, then the system actually becomes y prime of t, it's 3, 0, 0, 5, y of t. I mean, both face, okay. And what's the point? What do you notice about this matrix? In fact, it is diagonal. So let's just write it as d. And the point of this example is Matrices with diagonal, sorry, systems with diagonal matrices are in fact easy to solve because they're uncoupled and you just use two calculus tricks. All right, now let's go back to the previous example. Let's go back to, back to the future. I love that movie. Okay, back to x prime equals to ax, where a is 7, 2, minus 4, 1. And again, remember the previous example. If your matrix were diagonal, we can actually solve this easily. Man, if only there was a way to turn this into a diagonal matrix. But here is where the magic of linear algebra comes in. In fact, there is a way of turning it into a diagonal matrix, which is called diagonalization. And in fact, we have A equals to PDP inverse, where D is 3, 0, 0, 5, and P is the matrix 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1. And if we want to see the details of this, I've made or will make another video about this, so you can just check it out. But there is a very standard process that turns this matrix A into this diagonal matrix D. All right, and the question is, how will that help us? Well, consider the following, let Y Let's call, I guess, uh, y is p inverse of x. And the way to remember this is just x equals to pi m. So my name is pi m, not pex m. Okay. So let y be p inverse of x. Then you can rewrite this. So um, let me see. So y prime becomes... So p inverse x prime, but p inverse is a constant in terms of matrices, so it becomes p inverse x prime, but then p inverse, I'm mean, sorry, x prime is just ax. And now let's use this equation. If a is p d p inverse, then multiply to the left by p inverse, and you get p inverse of a is p inverse, p d p inverse. This is the identity, so this becomes d p inverse. So this thing here becomes d p inverse of x. But then what was p inverse of x? That becomes dy. And therefore, using this weird algebra, we actually turn the system x prime equals to ax into y prime. So we turn x prime equals to ax into y prime equals to dy, where d was this matrix. But this was precisely the example from before, where y1 prime equals to this one y1 prime equals to 3y1 and y2 prime equals to 5y2.
but then we can actually solve this. Again, so y1 of t is c1 e to the 3t, y2 of t is c2 e to the 5t. So this gives us our vector y. So if you want y of t is c1 e to the 3t, c2 e to the 5t. And the question is, how can we get our original solution x back? Well, it's actually written on this black whiteboard. Remember that y is p inverse of x, so x is in fact p of y. So our original solution is x of t is p of y of t. And p, I want to remind you, is 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1. y of t, which is c1 e to the 3t, c2 e to the 5t, and if you want, that's the same thing as c1 e to the 3t, 1 minus 2, plus, if you want here, c2 e to the 5t, 1 minus 1. Well, how cool is that? So you went from basically knowing nothing to actually solving a system of differential equations once you know this process called diagonalization. And by the way, here I did it the really slow way. In fact, now that you see the solution, there's actually a much faster way to solve x prime equals to ax. Diagonalize this matrix. So for lambda equals to 3, you get the vector 1 minus 2. For lambda equals to 5, you get the vector 1 minus 1. And your solution is just e to the eigenvalue t times eigenvector plus e to the eigenvalue t times eigenvector. So you actually don't need all this theory, but I think it's very neat. So it's like one of the instances, one of the many instances where linear algebra is very beautiful. All right, so if you like this linear algebra extravaganza and want to see more math, Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.